What's up, everybody? I haven't heard from y'all in a while out there, man. I be still seeing people watch some of my old videos that I used to put out. And I've watched some of y'all 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 um bloggers uh watch some of my stuff, taking my ideas that I talked about months, maybe even years ago, and then you go in and make a video about it. It's okay, I ain't mad at y'all. You know what I'm saying? Each one teach one, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a hater. I'm a participator. Just trying to put some extra cheese on the top of my potato. <laughs> anyway, what's cracking, baby? It's your boy V. I ain't even um I ain't even gonna hesitate to get into this one because I'm a little bit disgusted. Okay. Now, little Nas X, I gotta talk about you, dog. And I don't like talking about brothers and my sisters badly. I just don't like doing it. But the raw, you gonna get this right now, bro. Okay, so I get it. You're gay. And so what? And I know you said your video was about being gay and how hard it was for you to come out. But where did the reference of the Garden of Eden come into this? Where did, where in the Bible did it talk about the serpent who tempted the gay man? No, that's not in the Bible nowhere, man. I don't even care if you talk about old school terminology if you want to get into uh, the book of Lilith and all of that type stuff. You, you want to get into that book of Enoch's and I, I don't care what book you go into. It, there's nothing in the Bible that talks about no Garden of Eden. And then you're sliding down a pole, bro. Like a uh, straight up. You know what I'm saying? You sliding down the pole. I don't want to call you out your name, dog. I don't want to call you out your name. But you understand that there's normal clubs, right? And then there's strip clubs, right? And then there's gay clubs, right? Different things go on in different places. What you do with the normal spot, you're not going to do. You're not going to see the same type of content that you would see in the gay spot. Correct? So why would you think it's okay to show kids being that you have one of the biggest records in the planet? Thousands of fans and followers. They accepted the fact that you are gay. And that's fine. And you giving the devil a lap dance in some six inch pumps. Like a straight look goofy dog. What are you doing, bro? Word. That's what we doing. It's controversy that sells. I get it, people. I get the whole psychology behind that. Why they do what they do when a rapper can sit there and say, I wore a dress, but that dress got me 150 million likes. Yeah. Makes me question the youth of today, man. You newcomers, you new cats, you you young bucks, man. Y'all, y'all okay with too much. And that's fine. You don't have to disagree with what people do. And you're entitled to like what you like to like. But I don't got to like you referencing the Bible, dog. I don't have to like it. I don't. I don't have to like a young black man walking around with two the little curls in your head that represents the 666 over here. The little curls in your head that represents the 666 over here. And you got red braids. Man, your hair don't grow like that. You's a man, dog. You could be gay, but be a gay man, dog. Not a gay she-man. You know what I'm saying? Then you're using symbol symbolism in the joint, you talk, you know, it's ridiculous, man. You got yourself kissing yourself and licking yourself and all that. That shows you what? You're showing the world what? The poisons within you, bro? The wrongs within you? Self-love? What What was that? I, I'm confused. Like, that was some straight gay shit. And I ain't got no problem with gay shit, but damn, bro. My son walks in my room. This is the only reason why I'm coming at you, dog. My son walks in the room like, pop. I'm like, what? You see Lil Nas X video? I'm like, no. He's like, this dude, he on here with the with with the poom poom shorts and walking weird and high heel shoes and red hair. Come on, man. Come on, just make music. We gotta do all that. I'm like, where? Then you putting out a sneaker with blood in it. And everybody talking about it on the internet like he really putting blood in a sneaker. Y'all really believe that shit? There's nobody putting blood in a sneaker, man. It's never going to happen. People donate blood to people. You think they're really going to do some bullshit like that? I don't think so. Not now, not ever. There's people out here dying over get, getting blood and blood transfusion, but this dude going to put human drops of blood in some sneakers. Nigga, no, you're not, bro. Stop it. Y'all lying. 
You put some red Kool-Aid or some dye or something in there. Knock it off. You ain't put no blood in no sneakers, man. These is bloody shoes. That's what they are now? Come on, man. I need to stop, man. So I just got to say, man, after watching the video, I was pretty disgusted. Pretty disgusted. Not disgusted on the fact he's gay. He could be as gay and happy as he wants to be in this world. But damn, dog, you going to use biblical references? And then you're going to snap the neck of the devil and put his horns on him, showing that the devil's within you. Word. So all gay people the devil now? I don't think so, man. You can't, you can't do that. Not all gay people are the devil. I refuse to believe it. I know some people who are gay, been gay, but they donate to charity. They help people out. They're very influential. They're not the devil. You, you apparently wanted to be. You're going to take his horns and put them on your head. Like, who who raised y'all young boys, man? I don't even like to use that word because T.K. Kirkland put a he put a, a stamp on that. So, shout out to you, T.K. But, yeah, man, come on, man. This is what we doing right now? This is what we doing right now? We letting dudes come out with sneakers with blood in them and all that? That's what we just, just do anything for publicity? You know what I'm saying? We, we, letting, we letting grown men, black men, put diamonds in their forehead? Why is it everybody's trying to make the black brothers look super uber goober gay? I know gay people. Some of them wear suits. They're regular people. He just might be attracted to the opposite sex. So what? That's what he's attracted to. He don't got to wear a diamond in his forehead. He don't got to... He don't got to wear high heel boots and he don't got to strut around and, and, and down the, the stripper pole to hell. You going to hell now? Wait, 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 what? Wait, wait, come on, man. Come on, man. I like to hear some of y'all comments. And I know, I know, I know everybody's soft now. Everybody's soft now. You know, you, 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 if, if, I, if I say something in reference to gay people and you find it as something you report me and all this shit you know everybody's so extra extra moistly soft it's like knock it off man you can be whatever you want to be in this world and that's fine with me but sometimes i think it's the symbol sim, the symbolism is ridiculous like dude you going way above and beyond what you need to be doing especially nowadays cuz kids are watching you bro you doing too damn much that's all i'm saying slow it down for the babies man slow it down don't hit me with the, I don't want to be a role model. Nigga, yes, you do. Stop. When all them little kids were screaming at the school, Old Town Road, you was okay with it. But now, of course, no, you don't want nothing to do with that, right? Come on, dude. You bugging right now. The song would have been an okay vibe had you had showed you getting bullied in school. You know what I'm saying? Who writes these videos? We're going to go back to when you was in school and you got bullied because kids found out you were acting a certain way. That's a realistic gay story, I would say. Because kids do get bullied, you know what I'm saying? They talk about people, you know what I mean? And I and I could I could get that, but you going you 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 bugging, man. Well, live in, it, it's just you bugging. I don't know what happened to my light it dimmed up or something like that. But that right there was disgusting. That video, I was a little I was a little a little thrown off by it, you know what I'm saying? And um, I just wanted to speak about it, and I'm only speaking about it because my son came in the room and told me about it. Like dad, like this dude's, he got the whole like I'm like man, dude, come on, man. And then I went and watched it. Why'd I do that? Wasted a few minutes of my life, man. Got you a view though off me. You got you a view. So it must it worked. Controversy works, folks. It works. Controversy works. Cause look at this shit. And if you ever go look at the video, don't watch it in front of your kids. That shit's nasty, bro. It's nasty. I mean, you're giving Satan a lap dance. Come on, son. You're bugging. I just I thought I put it out there.